Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup and as for right now, I mean my knob like cutie week. So if you haven't been here before, I have all the seven cutie palettes from Nabla and I'm doing a whole week with only the cutie palettes. So I'm doing a look with each of the palettes each day of this week and I did it. I get I did get through that intro. So today it's day number five and I'm going to use the Wildberry. And I think that I said when I first tested this or when I first saw it like this might is going to be one of my favorites. It looks like this, but I I don't know. I don't love this, but I don't hate it. But yeah, I don't know. But I'm going to do a look with this. And I'm thinking of continuing my using three shades in each of the palettes because I think I've done that with all the others. Or maybe in one I've used four. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to do a look with this. So I think we just get started. So I'm going to take Botanic Juice, this one, take it in my crease and on my lid. Then I will cut my crease and I will go in with Alchemy. 2.0 in my catch crease and then I think I will blend the alchemy together with botanic juice with bu bucolic baby that is what I'm planning at least so we will see I'm just going to fix this I see the primer so yeah, I'll just get started and I think actually I will take this botanic juice in like my whole crease and then okay we're getting to that <laughs> we'll see how this looks okay, maybe this is kind of dark maybe kind of dark for pale as me and maybe this isn't the best brush for doing a smoked out crease maybe if I just keep blending like my life depended on it. Maybe that will make it better. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Usually I don't use this crease brush that often it's from Kaleidos. It is S2. I think it's good. It's just not my typical crease brush. Even though I don't have that big of an I, I like bigger crease brushes and I want to take it the whole way in because I think I want this as a little edge when uh, I'm cutting the crease later on. I'm not sure but I think I will. Okay, so this shade is really, really pigmented, but I'm rather going in with a little bit at a time instead of just taking too much at first. So maybe something like this. It's a really, really nice shade. So I will also go in with the same shade a little bit on my lid and I think I need to sneeze so I'm taking it out here and I think just something like this and like this lid, you know me and my dry little patch, it's soon worse than ever. Sometimes it even like itches on my eyelid. Huh. Okay, I will cut my crease with my glitter primer from NYX. I'm just going to find brush that I can do this with and then when I have a cut I will go in with Ultimate 2.0 so 
and now I want to try to save a little bit of this shade <laughs> up there. Okay, I'm going to be maybe super concentrated. I'm going with alchemy. Ooh. I don't know. But I can remember, I think I used all the shades in this palette in my first impression. It was a while ago. <laughs> and I don't know if I ever taken a glitter primer with this. I don't know. Okay, I don't think I need to go in with this shade to blend it out. I think it's enough like this. I really do like it. I don't know how much you can see, but it shifts from like uh, a blue and uh, to pink. Maybe I should go in with the other shimmer. No. No. But I will take the matte shade, tap it off, and take it a little bit over this one. Just in the edge. So, yeah. I think I'm actually happy. Maybe I'm just going to use two shades in this look. I think it looks better though in real life than on camera because I can like see the different sides of this shade. For the soy cat. Um, but I don't think you can. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other eye. So I guess this is all for the lids. I got quite a lot of fallouts, but yeah, I think I do really like this one. So I'm going to fix my base, I will take the matte shade down and I I don't think I will put this shimmer on my lower lash because I don't think it will look good. Maybe I put it in my inner corner, we will see, but <laughs> I will fix this and try to choose a lippy from Nabla because I didn't want to use the same lippy twice this week. But Colonel would have looked amazing to this. But I will see what I have left and see which one I will take. I did go with something maybe a little bit more different for my lips. But on my waterline I used Honeydew from Colourpop. And on my lips I took Narcotic from Nabla. I don't really know what I think about this color. But I want to use it more. And I was like maybe red isn't the perfect for this look. So I went with this. So yeah, and this is my look with the Wildberry. I almost said the Nabla palette, but yeah, the Wildberry. So I only use two shades. This Botanic Use and Alchemy. Alchemy, Alchemy 2.0. And I do really like this look. I don't know though if it looks as good on camera as it do like in real life. But I do really like it. So yeah. I don't think I've changed my mind though about this palette. I, It is not a favorite from Nabla. And uh, yeah, in the last video that is coming up on Sunday this week, I'm going to talk more about all the palettes and what I feel and my thoughts about them. So like a review of the cuter palettes. It's only two left now, Saturday and Sunday. So it's going to be the Midnight and Analog. And then, yeah, on Sunday I guess it's going to be a longer video because I'm going to talk about all the palettes. So yeah, this is my look with the Wildberry palette. And yeah, not the favorite palette though, really like the look. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope that I will see you tomorrow when we dig into the midnight. The blue-ish, the blue one. Blue-ish, blue, the blue palette. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and um, yeah. bye!